From redwoods to precious and endangered trees around the world, wood poaching is a problem that has been nearly impossible for law enforcers to stop. Now a group of wildlife forensics experts in Ashland have pioneered a new technique that's changing the way federal investigators stop smugglers. A soft hum fills the room as this hulking machine is brought to life. A small sample is inserted. Within seconds, data begins to flash across the screen. A fingerprint for solid wood. There's no DNA, there's no anatomy. The only thing left is chemistry, and so that we took advantage of that. Ashland's Wildlife Forensics Lab is the only one in the world that can identify a species of tree without the actual tree. They measure precise atomic weight using nothing but a dead sliver, making them a hub for rooting out a surprisingly vast this network of illegal wood smuggling. It is organized crime. It's just in our minds, organized crime is all about drugs and guns only. Their contraband, things like incense and guitars, illegal and lucrative products made from endangered species once impossible to detect. Both of these samples of wood are from a family of tree called Dalbergia. This species is from New Guinea. It's restricted, but you can still trade it with certain permits. This species is from Brazil. It's highly endangered and completely illegal. Being able to tell the difference means knowing if an operation is completely legal or one that could result in up to four or five years of jail time. And that's the only use of the process so far. But in the future, it could expand beyond federal investigations, starting with academia. We've talked to people at the Smithsonian. We've talked to people in uh, both France, Germany, and Belgium. Museums that are now sending their most rare wood samples, creating a catalog of fingerprints that will someday help researchers tell a story with nothing but a tiny sliver. We can say this sample, that came from here and no other place in the world. And that, that's, that's kind of slick. Now, this process isn't just limited to wood. It can theoretically be used for any solid material. In fact, just today it was demonstrated on a $20 bill and it was able to detect traces of cocaine contamination.